What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, back as your coach of the West Side Weaviles for week 7 of my league with some of my friends. Uh, sorry I sound a little weird, I'm a little sick, but just bear with me for the video uh, and the next couple as well. So, uh, as you guys know, my team, I have Landers, Therian, Kiram, Chestnut, Jolteon, Aromatisse, Rabombi, Regi, Scizor, Incineroar, Silvali, Terrakion, and Mega Slowbro. And the chest pins are Rocking Pelipper, Gudra, Tornadus Incarnate, Beware, Hariyama, Kabutops, Dunsparce, Zerkatry, Ferrothorn, Ludicolo, Lantern, and Mega Sceptile. So he does have a rain team, uh, which is a little bit scary, but um, I've actually played with rain in the past. I've played against it a few times, so I'm a little bit used to it. And um, honestly, his team isn't great. It's not a great rain team, uh, in my opinion. But he does definitely have some threats. The Kabutops can be scary. The Mega Sceptile super fast can be scary. He plays his Palafer pretty well. Uh, he has the Zerkatry, which is his unlimited Z user. So he's got some threats in there. Um, so I'm going to take this off the screen and we'll get right into my team. So first starting off, we have uh, Jolteon, or Thor, uh, rocking the Choice Scarf. So we are Scarfed to outspeed the Kabutops in the rain. Alright, so we have Volt Absorb, and then we have Volt Switch, Charge Beam, Hidden Power Ice, and Signal Beam. So, Charge Beam is mainly just if I can get an electric move off, I can set up. Obviously, he has the Lantern that can potentially be an electric immunity. He has the Sceptile, which can be an electric immunity as well. Um, but, I have the Volt Switch to just Volt Switch around and do a lot of damage to a lot of things on his team. I have the Charge Beam if I do want to set up towards or uh, in the late games, so towards the end. Uh, and potentially get a plus one or even a plus two, and this thing can do a lot of damage to his team if I can get rid of the lantern and the septile. Hidden power ice is for the septile uh, mainly, uh, and then we have signal beam which can help hit the ludicolo a little bit better. So that is our Jolteon set. Here's the spread. Like I said, it has enough speed to outspeed uh, Jolly Kabutops in the rain. I don't think he's going to bring Jolly. I really do think he's going to bring Adamant. But just in case, I wanted to have that speed there in case he is Jolly, uh, as you'll see later on. I do prepare a little bit more for Adamant, so uh, 200 in speed to outspeed that Jolly Kabutops in the rain, max special attack, and the rest just in special defense to take hits a little bit better. Uh, then we have Iron Man, our Scizor. This week we are Choice Banded again uh, with Technician, uh, with U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Super Power, and Aerial Ace. Uh, the U-Turn and the Bullet Punch are just general stab coverage moves. U-Turn does a good amount to his team, Bullet Punch for that priority. Uh, Super Power for the Ferrothorn, uh, and even potentially the Beware. Kabutops, Dunsparce, anything like that. Uh, and then Aerial Ace for the Hariyama or the Beware if necessary, Ludicolo, things like that. So I'm mainly just going to be clicking U-Turn with this thing, just trying to get off uh, get off a lot of damage and punch some holes in his team. Uh, the spread is kind of simple, it's just max attack, adamant nature. I didn't really want to outspeed anything, I just have uh, that 4 in speed to outspeed Pelipper if necessary. So I'm just that 1 point above Pelipper because we do speed tie at 65. Uh, and then 248 in HP to get that IHP stat, and then the last four in special defense. Just, you know, if I can take a hit, that would be awesome. So, that's it for Scizor. Next up, we have War Machine, our Reg Ice. Uh, this thing is really, really, really good against this team because it's so especially bulky and he has a lot of special threats. Uh, this was a must bring this week. So, I have the leftovers with Clear Body. Uh, and we have Ice Punch, Earthquake, Curse, and Hammer Arm. So, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Hammer Arm are our coverage moves, and then if I can set up in the late game, I have Curse. So this is this thing's main job is to basically take hits from the special threats. So it's Sceptile, Tornadus, Caliper, Ludicolo, Zerkatry, taking hits from those threats, and then fire back with you know one of our coverage moves, and then in the late game, if, thing is, if this thing is still healthy, I will work to start to set up with Curse and potentially sweep his team, because we do have good coverage all around for his team in general. Uh, moving on, we have Hulk, our Chestnut, uh, with the Leftovers and Bulletproof. Moves are Spiky Shield, Drain Punch, Seed Bomb, and Synthesis. Spiky Shield is mainly so I can get a little bit of extra Leftovers recovery if necessary, uh, and potentially use this for the Beware, the Hariyama, or even the Kabutops. Just to scout a little bit, and to get a little extra chip damage off. Synthesis to recover my health, and then Drain Punch and Seed Bomb, just as some recovery with Drain Punch and General Stab. So, not bad. I'm actually going to change this real quick. I'm going to put these eight in uh, in speed. Let me see. What does Pelipper hit? Pelipper hits 166. So we're going to do this. Let's do this. There we go. So we're going to outspeed the Pelipper um, just in case if I need to get off like a late game seed bomb or something like that. We will outspeed the Pelipper. 
Next up, we have Thanos or Terrakion. So Terrakion has actually I've brought it to two games this season and has not hit the field yet. But I'm really, really excited. We're actually running double Scarf this week. So we have Jolteon that's already Choice Scarf, and Terrakion is Choice Scarf as well. This outspeeds an adamant Kabutops in the rate. So Terrakion, the Choice Scarf Terrakion, Max Speed Jolly, outspeeds an adamant Kabutops in the rate. So I'm really looking forward to this thing. Terrakion does a ton of damage to his team. Close Combat destroys his team. Stone Edge knocks out most of the rest, and then I have Earthquake there just in case. And Stealth Ox is kind of on there. I didn't really need any other moves other than Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. So I just put Stealth Rock on there in case I don't get it up with my next Mon, um, which I'll go over in a second. But just Max Attack, 4 in Defense, Max Speed with a Jolly Nature. Like I said, this does outspeed the Adamant Kabutops in the ring. Uh, lastly, we have... Captain America, leader of our team, Landorus, theory and form. So, I wasn't really sure I wanted to bring Landorus because we are facing a rain team, so it could be a little risky, but this thing is built to take on a Pelipper. So, uh, the Chessmen's like to lead with Pelipper a lot, almost every game. I think actually every game he's left, he's let off with Pelipper. So, I'm, this is my dedicated lead. Uh, I'm going to take a Scald from the Pelipper in the rain and get up my rocks first. So I will outspeed, I'm going to get up my rocks, I'm going to take that Scald in the rain, and then I'm going to fire back with a Rocky MZ Stone Edge, which does knock out the Pelipper, a bold max defense Pelipper, max HP, with this investment. So get up my rocks, knock out the Pelipper with the Rocky MZ, and then if I, you know, if I can live another hit, if I can save this thing for an Intimidate, that would be awesome. So that's what this set is for, this is my dedicated lead. Uh, I mean, if he doesn't bring Pelipper, which I don't see happening, then I don't. I won't necessarily lead with this thing, but he's going to bring Pelipper. He's going to bring Rain, that's what his team is based around, so if for some reason he doesn't, I don't think I'm going to lead with this thing. I mean, I still could just to get my rocks up, but um, yes, this thing is mainly, made, is mainly made to take on that Pelipper right off the bat. So that's it for the team. I'm actually doing the battle in a couple minutes here, so I will see you guys in the next one.